Zap, 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 lightning, zap, zap, lightning, lightning, fade Hello everybody, it's me, the Lego Dude, and in today's video I will be talking about the Obi-Wan Kenobi vs Darth Vader duel set which just got leaked yesterday. This set will be numbered 75334, have 408 pieces, and will cost at least $50. I say at least $50 because the Lego group has announced that they'll be raising prices on almost all of their Lego sets from now on in the future, and this set could be affected or it might not be affected by this. I'll leave that topic for a different video which will be releasing in a few days though because this video is just about the Obi-Wan Kenobi vs Darth Vader or dual set which has just gotten leaked. Starting off with the minifigures for this set, this set will have 4 minifigures. An Obi-Wan Kenobi who has a brand new hairpiece which I think looks cool and will also have a bunch of brand new prints plus a new face print. There will also be Darth Vader and with the Darth Vader minifigure I feel like we kinda got scammed a little bit because the box for this set literally shows the Darth Vader with the red eyes but for the actual minifigure he just has the normal black eyes. So that just feels kind of a bit weird because they're advertising it as him having red eyes in the bottom left corner but for the actual minifigure he just has the normal black eyes. But other in that detail, if you just ignore that, this still looks like a pretty good Darth Vader minifigure who will also include arm printing. Moving on to the next minifigure in this set, which I also think is the most exciting minifigure which is included, and that is the brand new Ned B droid. This Ned B droid looks absolutely amazing, and I think it should be the main reason that you get this set. It has a bunch of brand new specific molds to make it look more accurate, and also has a bunch of brand new prints. All the minifigures that are included in this set look really good, but the Ned B droid I think just takes the cake and is far and away the best. I think that the brand new molded pieces for this Ned B droid look absolutely amazing, but the only small complaint I have about it is what the color of the Ned B droid is. In the actual Kenobi series, it's more a mixture of the colors yellow and blue, but in this minifigure, it's mostly yellow with only a little bit blue added in. And the fourth and final minifigure included in this set is Imperial Officer Tala Doeth. The only new thing about this minifigure is the brand new face print, but other than that, she's just a normal Imperial Officer. Moving on to the set itself, let me just ignore the price tag for now, and if you just look at the set, it looks very average. There is nothing that really stands out good about it and there's nothing that really stands out bad about it. With the location of where this duel took place and with the source material that was given to LEGO by Disney, I think they did a pretty good job making this set. But even so, for just LEGOs in general, this just looks like a very average LEGO. But then if you take a look at the price tag for this set, then that just makes this set look really bad. A price tag of $50 I think is extremely unfair as this is just a $40 LEGO set. And this set will only be at least $50 as LEGO might raise the price on it by as much as $10 which I think would just be unequivocally unfair. There is nothing that stands out about this set other than the Ned V-Droid, yet they're charging $10-20 to $20 over what it should actually cost. There is nothing in this set that warrants such a high price tag as this set is basically just the minifigures, a couple of small builds, and then just a large base which really has nothing to it at all. All the sets that will be releasing this summer seem to be amazing LEGO sets, but after everything is done and dusted, this one set will be the only one that stands out as the one dark spot on this summer wave of LEGO Star Wars sets. Moving on to the play features included in this set, the first play feature will be turntables in the bottom of the set so that you can spin around the Darth Vader and the Obi-Wan Kenobi minifigure so that they can be dueling. This is just a pretty meh play feature because this is something that you would expect to be included in a dual set like this. The next play feature is that a yellow cart with a bunch of lava pieces in it can be thrown over by pushing a piece so that that way it just spills all the lava in the middle of the set. And the final play feature that will be included in this set is that you can open it at the middle to reveal a bunch of pieces that will represent fire which represents the scene in Kenobi where Kenobi was thrown in the fire by Darth Vader. I think that this play feature is kind of just meh because the pieces they use to make the fire really doesn't look that good. It's just a little line of pieces which doesn't actually represent how big the fire actually was in Kenobi. I don't want it to actually be really big but I would have appreciated it if it was like two or three tiles instead of just one tile wide. Overall I think that this set is actually kind of bad and I would not recommend buying it. There's so many better options to spend your money on for buying Lego Star Wars sets and this is not one of them. This set should be $40 tops and even that's a stretch. Is I think it would be better priced at $30 to $35. At $50 or $60 though, I think that this set is just ultimately way too overpriced and I would not recommend buying it one bit. Just as I was about to release this video, the advent calendar got leaked, so I've delayed this video's release by a couple of days. The advent calendar will in fact not have a beach theme like I predicted after the Darth Vader and Darth Vader sandcastle got leaked, then it will in fact just be the normal Christmas theme. Other than the Darth Vader sandcastle and the Darth Vader himself, there will be a Gong Troid, C3PO, and R2D2, 
too. And the, some of the builds in this set look like there will be a Luke Slant Speeder, a Bad Bad Shuttle, a TIE Advanced Fighter, a T-16 Skyhopper, a Water Moisturizer, and also a Mini ATST. This is only around half of the builds and minifigures included, but from what we can see from this advent calendar so far, I think it looks pretty decent. The $5 price increase on this advent calendar I think is kind of justified because of inflation, so all for I think this is a very solid advent calendar. Alright everyone, that's everything for today's video. Tell me your thoughts on the Darth Vader vs. Obi-Wan dual set and the advent calendar. Do you think that they're good or bad? Also, remember to stay tuned to my channel as I'm working on 4 videos right now which I plan to have released in the next couple of weeks. And before you leave, remember to hit the subscribe button, ring the notifications bell, and leave a like on this video. Bye. Created by the LEGO Dude. Produced by the LEGO Dude. Directed by the LEGO Dude. Paid for by the LEGO Dude. Edited by the LEGO Dude. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a like.